Khan's podcast. Yo, what's happening? It's Khan's motherfucking podcast. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Back with another vlog. Like I said, it's going to be constant content. You feel me? Just dropped the last one. I think I got like 10 views on it or something. But it's cool. The more consistency, the more this shit finna go up and up. You know what I'm talking about? So this is just a version of hood news, as we all know. Y'all heard it before. If y'all fuck with the podcast, it may not be good news, but it definitely is hood news. You feel me? So we're going to jump right into it. Got a couple of things I want to cover up today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On this good morning. You know what I'm saying? And uh, starts taking shots at Pusha T. I don't know why. You know, says somebody wasn't in this top 50. 50 is a lot of motherfuckers, yo. And for a nigga to not be in your top 50, 50 rappers, nigga. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's saying a lot. That's a big insult to Pusha T. I don't know. You feel me? Pusha T done already released some type of album or something or song or something already bombing at uh, Jim Jones. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what Jim... I mean, it's cool for the sport as long as this shit don't go to like a, a physical beef or, you know what I'm saying? It's niggas seeing each other in the street and wanting to fight. You know what I mean? Up a, up a pistol and all that. As long as this shit don't go to that, this shit is cool, you feel me? But I don't think... I don't know. It'd be a good battle. You know what I'm saying? Song after song after song. Jim Jones, Pusha T. It'd be a cool battle. We all know how Pusha T is. You know what I'm saying? Hope Jim Jones ain't got nothing hiding. Just, you know, Jim Jones gonna find that shit. I mean, uh, Pusha T gonna find that shit you yeah, he definitely gonna find that shit look what he did to drake niggas didn't even know drake had a son until this nigga push a tear exposed that shit to the world <laughs> you know what i'm saying we didn't know nothing about drake having no little you know curly haired fucking son with blue eyes and shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> we didn't know nothing about the little nigga it had that nigga you feel me come out and incorporate that type of shit in his lyrics about he didn't he wasn't hiding his son from the world. He was hiding the world from his son. And, you know what I'm saying? Make him go back and even put that shit in a rhyme. Like, hey, he was affected by Pusha T. You feel me? So, just like Charlamagne said, if you don't come for Pusha T, you got to go for the head. Got to go for the guillotine. You know what I'm saying? Got to come real hard. You know what I mean? Because we all know Pusha T he with that shit. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to come out of that. But good for hip-hop, I guess. In other news, like I said, the last vlog, you know what I'm saying? We got Ocean Gate. You know what I mean? Um... What was it? Six? Six billionaires, you know what I'm saying? Uh, paid 250 bands to go on this submarine, submersive, whatever you call it, a fucking vessel, boat, submarine, whatever you want to call it, by Ocean Gate, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying that the shit was finicky from the jump. The shit didn't look cool. I wouldn't pay no type of money to go see. Now, I've been in the submarine, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? But we went like 200 something feet only, you know, and it was beautiful showed as you can see you know there was pictures you know what i mean fish and shit looking out the looking out the thing you know what i'm saying there's a picture right here looking out the thing you know what i'm saying it was fish swimming all around the shit shit was cool but now we wasn't in no we wasn't going trying to see no motherfucking titanic pieces and no shit like that and we didn't pay no 250 bands for that shit you know what i'm saying I ain't trying to go too deep under the water, you know. This is a place that's unexplored out the motherfucker, you feel me? You know, nobody know what's in the deep in the waters, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be the nigga to find something, you feel me? I'm just not with the explorer type, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to that shit. I don't really, you know, I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool not knowing what's, what's down there, you feel me? That's one of the places that, you feel me, like space. We don't know what's down there. And them niggas wanted to go see the Titanic so bad. So the shit imploded. They found, like, remains and pieces and shit of the, of the submarine and shit. So we just assumed that they gone. You know what I mean? Plus, they had, like, oxygen that was going to run out in, like, 22 hours. We can just assume that they gone. I don't think bodies have been found or nothing like that. We can pretty much assume that they did not make it. You know what I mean? Um, sad shit. But uh yeah, I wouldn't have did it. Uh Mr. Beast. Uh I don't know if y'all familiar with Mr. Beast, nigga that be giving away millions of dollars on his YouTube and shit. Um he was offered to go, but he turned that shit down, which is fucking crazy. We would have lost the world would have lost Mr. Beast. You know what I'm saying? That shit wow. I hope to come across dude one day. Cause he be giving away fucking life changing prizes. You know what I'm talking about? He went to a, a restaurant one time I seen on one of his channels and tipped a girl a whole fucking car you know what i'm saying like <laughs> that shit crazy you feel me shout out to mr beast <laughs> in other news then we had somebody i think in minnesota or something like that nigga killed killed his three sons 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, man. Let me repeat that, man. You feel me? The motherfucker kills his three sons. You know what I'm saying? Lines them up in the yard, kills two of them, one of them ran. So, nigga chased them down, grabbed them up, brought them back to the front of the yard, and kills him. Now, the mom, I guess she got shot in like the hand or something, trying to protect the son. Man. So, it's body cam footage of this shit. So when they got there, the kids are dead in the in the lawn. He's sitting on the steps, rifle next to him that he killed his three sons with. Don't fight. He don't fight the police. He don't resist. Nothing. He's so calm. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, you hear the mom screaming. You know, you took everything from me. You know what I'm saying? She grieving heavy. Yeah, but he just tell you, he just goes with no problem. Don't fight the police or none of that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. That shit was crazy. I don't know what came in due mind. I don't know what possessed over him to be just be like, yeah, I'm finna kill my three kids. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? And he admitted to doing it. That's another thing. He admitted to this shit. Like, yeah, I did it. I don't know, man. That shit is... Admitted to the shit. So we had Roseanne Barr going stupid again, tweeting out that man shit. She said that the Holocaust did not happen. I don't know how you could fathom and say that the Holocaust didn't happen. I don't know what goes on in your mind when you tweet this type of shit. This ain't the first time Roseanne Barr been in trouble for tweeting out bullshit. It's a free country, I understand freedom of speech, but sometimes when you are an influencer or people, everybody knows your name, across the planet you just gotta watch what you say sometimes you know what i'm saying people are gonna people you know you open for it to be critiqued by millions of people you know what i mean so you just gotta watch what you say and uh you know she been hella loose lipped on this twitter shit you know what I'm saying twitter is twitter is no hold bar man right? you feel me i don't know if y'all out there got twitter accounts but that shit is where it's at for all the grimy shit all the uncensored shit porn uh the, all the body cam footage of police, um, any kind of shootings and shit that might be on type of video, it's gonna be on Twitter, you know what I mean? Yeah, so Roseanne, I seen the Mortal Technique tweet about saying that bitch is bonkers and shit. I don't know what she had tweeted, but I seen the Mortal Technique tweet about it, <laughs> so. Casanova, Casanova, the rapper, I guess he was in jail or something and uh, got his face cut or some shit. I don't know too much about the story, but I guess he was in jail, got his face cut, uh, got into altercation with somebody or some shit, ended up getting his face cut or something, ended up be he was beating dude up or some shit, and dude comrades came and jumped him and cut his face, some shit like that. I guess I don't know the whole story, but you feel me, it was headlining cats and other rapper, you know what I'm saying, got his face cut in jail. You know, so, in Chicago, there was, we don't know how the shit started. The video start off, dude with locks, he mad at a woman. They in some type of place where it's like a menu up top and the little window, you feel me? You order your food type shit. I don't know where they at. To look like a pizza place, there's a bunch of pizza on the menu. Uh, but dude is mad already when the video start. And he's saying something, you can't really hear what he's saying. But he like, oh, whoop, 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 I hit you, I knock you the fuck out. And he's talking to a grown woman, you feel me? And then he proceeds to strike her like three times, swung on her. You know, the first time you hear the, you know what I'm saying? You you, you, you hear the, you know, you, you hear that shit. And you hit her, then he like swing on her like three more times. And the sun come in and then all you hear is, Bop! you know, you see dude fly, you see dude get down. He fall kind of, but you don't really see it because the camera go off. But the story is, apparently dude got shot in the back. He ran out the store and then the son claps a few more times at him, hit him, you know what I'm saying? Um, and kills the man. But all the charges was dropped. They got off. It's cool. I mean, I think they should have been dropped, you know? I don't know. Why you hitting a female like that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. It don't matter what was going on. You know what I mean? You 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 was hitting her like a, like she was a whole man. I don't know. That's uh, I don't condone that. So he's dead now. The son killed him. Uh, first they was looking at charges, but then like a day later, uh, all the charges was dropped. 
Um, there's a video of her coming out, embracing him, they hug and shit after they get released. So shout out to them. Uh, but now she's suing the city. Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know what I'm saying? You got off, they dropped the charges, leave the shit alone now. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't feed the fire. You know what I mean? By suing the city or whatnot. But now, I would sue the city too, though. Especially if I did jail time. And then you drop the charges. Yeah, I'm going to want some compensation for that. <laughs> you know, same shit I'll be calling Comcast every time these motherfuckers have an outage or something in this fucking area or some shit. Y'all going to compensate me for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need compensation. Put some credits on my shit or something. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if they serve time, yeah, compensation is in, is due. So yeah, I would sue their ass too. I hope they win. Then we had somebody in Target. I don't know where this was at, but I seen the headline, Breakfast Club. Uh, somebody in Target, uh, a man named Romero, went in there and I guess stole condoms, lubricant, uh, a vibrator, uh, sexually uh, enhanced pills, enhancement pills, uh, all this shit from Target. And while he paid for like, you know what I'm saying? He stole this shit, but he went through the line and paid for like produce and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what took over dude to be like, yeah, let me grab this. Let me grab that. I'm feeling horny. I want to grab a vibe. Like, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when the cops arrested dude, you know what I'm saying? He was, see, he had his pants down. You feel me? And the vibrator was going off, like, on in his pocket. I don't know what was going on, dude. Um, that's wild as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know where it happened at. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. That's just your, uh, that's about all I got right now. That's what I'm gonna cover. But, yeah, this is Joe Hood News Edition. You know what I'm saying? Conch motherfucking podcast. You feel me? Stay tuned. Like I said, I'm gonna keep dropping these shits. You know, I ain't going to do too much of editing on these shits and none of that. It's just going to be quick little vlogs. You feel me? Every day I'm going to touch on whatever happens in the every day. Something happen every day. You feel me? Content is there for me. So I'm going to just take heed with it and use all of it. You know what I mean? Constant motherfucking content. You feel me? Constant motherfucking podcast. You know what I'm talking about? Tell your homies. Tell your friends. Tell day friends to tell all of the day friends tell their friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to tell their mamas to tell their grandmas to tell their cousins uncles aunties everybody tell them all about kind podcast with him because it's going to be constant content and i plan to take over this motherfucking youtube grind and create my own motherfucking lane in this shit you feel me and i'm gonna do it all organically yeah Kind podcast, right?